Hi folks, uh, I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you the uh, latest project I'm working on. Uh, this is an Adafruit Pro Trinket, uh, I'll point to it, right there, that's uh, driving this rock block modem, which is capable of speaking to the Iridium satellite network. And uh, this is also talking to this little Maxbotic ultrasonic sensor that I can use for measuring stage of ephemeral washes or rivers or even stock tanks. And you can see right now that this is uh, set up over this little baking pan. And the idea behind this is to uh, collect data on the stage over a site of interest. Um, and you can see here that the stage is about 33 inches. Uh, and the point is, is to be able to monitor these sites remotely via the Iridium satellite network and have the data posted to an Internet of Things website known as ThinkSpeak. So let me go ahead and uh, do a demo real quick. Now it just turned on, and these little OLEDs are great. Um, they're, they're just really bright, they don't take a lot of power, and they're just really convenient for giving you feedback on what, the, uh, on what your microcontroller is doing. So right now you can see that it measured stage at about 85 centimeters. It's talking to the rock block. Really what it's doing is it's charging that huge capacitor. This thing is, uh, looks like it's uh, three farads at 5.4 volts and it needs that power to be able to um, uh, talk to the Iridium satellite network. So it takes uh, about a minute for the charge on that capacitor to come up. So that's what's going on right now. And when it, when it finally turns on, uh, you see that little red light come off on, or excuse me, come on on the uh, on the Pro Trinket. So now it's got some data. It's going to send the battery voltage and the stage uh, to uh, an Internet of Things website known as ThingSpeak, and it, it just told me that the message sent. Uh, so let's take a look at what time it is. Let's see. So it's about 7:12. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is take you over to my computer and we'll bring up the ThingSpeak site and uh, we'll see if the data posted. So here I am at my computer. I just came in and uh, you can see here that I've got a data point on my ThingSpeak channel. And let's see, you can see that it posted at about um, 1912 or about 712 p.m. Uh, and that the uh, stage is recorded as 83 centimeters. We can see that 83 centimeters is close to 33 inches, which is what I measured when I was out at the, uh, at the unit. So there you go. Seems to be working. I'll try to do one more demo with, uh, with another iPad so you can actually see the data being posted in real time. Okay, so I'm going to try this one more time and have my cell phone out here to um, demonstrate the posting of the data. So first thing I need to do is uh, I'm going to reset the uh, Pro Trinket, let it go through its routine again. So you can see now that it's trying to uh, talk to the uh, satellite network. My phone just went dark. It's talking to the rock block. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to keep my phone alive. Okay, it just went on. So now it's going to try to send the message. Message sent. So if I keep this uh, focused on this, there it is. So that's a demonstration of using the Iridium satellite network with an Adafruit Pro Trinket and a Maxbotic ultrasonic uh, sensor to post data to the Internet of Things. So uh, one thing that I learned um, setting this whole thing up, uh, thanks to my colleagues at uh, ZeroCraft, is I was having a lot of trouble um, uh, getting, getting this thing to power up. So I would plug the battery in and it would turn on for about uh, half a second and it would just shut down. And what I found out was that this huge capacitor on the modem was just drawing too much current off this LiPo and there's uh, protection circuitry in the light bulb that was just causing it to shut down. So I was having to unplug and plug and unplug and plug the battery in repeatedly to get the charge on the capacitor up to a point where, um, where things would work. And what I learned from my friends at ZeroCraft 
is that what I need is one of these little inductors right here. And what these do is they, uh, they kind of temper the current draw to the rock block modem. Uh, so uh, that's something that you may want to consider if you're working with uh, uh, the model 9602 that Rockblock sells. This is, uh, uh, this is a five volt um, uh, system. They, they now carry a 9603, uh, which doesn't require quite as much power is my understanding. So uh, I shouldn't be having these kinds of issues of having to install inductors and, and deal with, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, protection circuitry in my LiPo because too many, too much power is being drawn. So uh, just something to keep in mind, these little inductors are really useful. I'll be sharing uh, additional details in the future. Subscribe for updates and thanks for watching.